జనరల్ నాలెడ్జ్ లో మన విజ్ఞానాన్ని మరింత పెంచేందుకు టీసాట్ ప్రత్యేక కార్యక్రమం చేపట్టింది పలు అంశాలపై మనకున్న తెలివితేటల్ని పరీక్షించుకోవడం తెలియని అంశాలపై అవగాహన పెంచుకునేందుకు ఈ కార్యక్రమం రూపకల్పన చేసింది ఈ ప్రత్యేక క్విజ్ కార్యక్రమంలో మీరు పాల్గొనాలనుకుంటున్నారా మీ విజ్ఞానాన్ని మా ద్వారా ప్రపంచానికి పంచాలనుకుంటున్నారా అయితే మీ ప్రశ్నలు మరియు ఆప్షన్స్ మా టీసాట్ ఛానల్ పై నేరుగా సంధించండి లేదా ఈమెయిల్ కు పంపించగలరు ఫస్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ ద వరల్డ్ ఫస్ట్ హండ్రెడ్ పర్సెంట్ ఇథనాల్ ఫ్యూయల్ కార్ హ్యాస్ బీన్ డెవలప్డ్ బై విచ్ కంపెనీ ఆప్షన్ ఏ మారుతి సుజుకి ఆప్షన్ బి టొయోటా ఆప్షన్ సి మహీంద్రా అండ్ మహీంద్రా ఆప్షన్ డి టాటా మోటార్స్ యువర్ టైమ్ స్టార్ట్స్ నా The correct answer is option B, Toyota. Union Minister of Road Transport and Highways, Nitin Gatkari unveiled the prototype of the world's first Bharat Stage 6 compliant electrified flex fuel car developed by Toyota Kirloskar Motor. The car which runs on 100% ethanol is based on Toyota Innova Hi-Cross. It can cover 40% of its distance on ethanol and the remaining 60% on electric with the petrol engine shut off. Next question. Who is the first woman to head the Railway Board of India? Option A. Jayavarma Sinha Option B. Soma Mandal Option C. Madhabi Puribuch Option D. Rekha Sharma Your time starts now. The correct answer is Option A. Jayavarma Sinha The union government appointed Jayavarma Sinha as chairperson of the railway board becomes the first woman to head the board. Jayavarma Sinha succeeded Anil Kumar Lahoti as chairman and chief executive officer of the railway board. Sinha is a seasoned member of the Indian Railway Management Services. Next question. Dr. Shanta Tautam who received the World Innovation Award is a chief innovation officer of which state? Option A. Tamil Nadu. Option B. Telangana. Option C. Odisha option D New Delhi your time starts now The correct answer is option B Telangana Telangana Chief Innovation Officer Dr Shanta Thautam received the World Innovation Award at the first BRICS Innovation Forum hosted in Moscow The award is given for outstanding contribution to the Sustainable Development Goal 4 that ensures inclusive and equitable quality education and promotes lifelong opportunities for all The award was instituted by World Organization for Development Next question Which state chief minister has been awarded the Lee Kuan Yew Exchange Fellowship Option A West Bengal Option B Assam Option C Rajasthan Option D Tamil Nadu Your time starts now The correct answer is Option B Assam Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sharma has been awarded the Lee Kuan Yew Exchange Fellowship recognizing his contributions to the development of Assam. The fellowship is named after Singapore's founding prime minister Mr Lee Kuan Yew and is awarded to individuals who have made significant contributions to their nation's development and bilateral relations with Singapore. He is the first chief minister from Assam to receive this honor joining the ranks of distinguished recipients like Arun Shaury, Shivaraj Singh Chauhan and Montek Singh Alwal. Yeah. Next question. The National Green Tribunal ordered a ban on cruise ships operating on water bodies of which state? Option A. Odisha. Option B. Madhya Pradesh. Option C. Gujarat. Option D. Rajasthan. Your time starts now. The correct answer is option B. Madhya Pradesh. The National Green Tribunal has ordered a ban on cruise ships operating on Madhya Pradesh water bodies including the upper lake of Bhopal citing environmental concerns. Cruise ships in Madhya Pradesh were found to have environmental issues including noise pollution, inadequate waste disposal and sewage contamination. Next question. The 128th Constitution Amendment Bill 2023 which was introduced recently is associated with option A Reserve 33% of seats for women in Lok Sabha and state assemblies. Option B. Identify other backward classes. Option C. 
reservation for economically weaker sections option d goods and services tax your time starts now the correct answer is option a reserve 33% of seats for women in lok sabha and state assemblies Indian government introduced a constitution bill 2023 which proposes to reserve 33% of seats for women in Lok Sabha and state legislative assemblies. This reservation will apply to seats reserved for scheduled caste and scheduled tribes as well. These amendments were a result of recommendations made by the Balwant Rai Mehta Committee in 1957 and Ashoka Mehta Committee in 1977 aiming to strengthen local self governance and empower local bodies across rural and urban India. Next question which institution released the international tourism highlights report option a world bank option b unwto option c wef option d imf your time starts now the correct answer is option b unwto The United Nations World Tourism Organization has released a report highlighting the severe economic impact of COVID-19 pandemic on the global tourism industry. According to the report titled International Tourism Highlights 2023 Edition, the impact of COVID-19 on tourism, international tourism lost 2.6 trillion dollars in export revenues, exceeding its earnings in 2019 by one and a half times. Next question. Advance pricing agreement is a program associated with which institution? Option A CBDT Option B CBIC Option C NASCOM Option D GST Council Your time starts now The correct answer is Option A CBDT The Advanced Pricing Agreement Program is an initiative for promoting an investor-friendly and non-adversarial tax regime in India. The Central Board of Direct Taxes has recently released the fourth and fifth annual APA reports. The reports present key data and statistics pertaining to the APA program. Next question: India signed a MOU with which country on energy cooperation recently? Option A: UAE. Option B: Saudi Arabia. Option C Malaysia Option D Afghanistan Your time starts now The correct answer is Option B Saudi Arabia India and Saudi Arabia have signed a memorandum of understanding on energy cooperation in New Delhi The MOU encompasses various areas of collaboration including renewable energy, energy efficiency, hydrogen, electricity, grid interconnection, petroleum, natural gas, strategic petroleum reserves and energy security. Next question. Which institution is associated with National Broadcasting Policy? Option A. Niti Aayog. Option B. NASCOM. Option C. TRI. Option D. Prasar Bharati. Your time starts now. The correct answer is option C. Try. Telecom Regulatory Authority of India consulted stakeholders on national broadcasting policy. As per try the policy may provide a common approach for licenses oversight and compliances the government is seeking to bring further parity in how digital and legacy mediums like television and ott streaming are regulated audience question which country's rover has mapped abundance of sodium on the moon for the first time option a china option b usa option c india option d uae Mention your answers in comment section. Answer will reveal in comment section. మీ సమాధానాలను మరియు మీ అభిప్రాయాలను కామెంట్స్ రూపంలో తెలియజేయండి. మీరు టీసాట్ నుంచి ఎటువంటి కార్యక్రమాలను వీక్షించాలని అనుకుంటున్నారో ఈ క్రింది వాట్సాప్ నంబర్ ద్వారా మీ సందేశాలను పంచుకోగలరు. వాట్సాప్ నంబర్ 7337558051